Hello and welcome. It's possible to play Super Mario 64 online. You need the ROM, an emulator and a special application which was published uh, on September 10th, 2017. The first public version at least. So somebody made a zip file of all three things. We're gonna just use that. Let's just extract it. All right, extract and go in there. Here are the three files we are going to work with. First up, let's start project 64. Here it is, and drag in the ROM file. The game window will freeze for, for about 5 to 10 seconds, then you get this. We need to check some things. Let's go into Options, Settings, Config Super Mario. We absolutely have to set this to 8 megabytes, or you will just fail. Alright, next up you need to configure your controller or keyboard. I have an X, uh, Xbox 360 controller, so if I go to Configure Controller plugin in Options, and enable X input, this is the Xbox controller and this is the N64 controller. So A becomes A, B becomes B, start will be start. I want right trigger to be Z. All right, if I remember correctly, D-pad was for animations. Then right thumbstick will be C buttons, which are for camera control. And left thumbstick will be for analog stick, which was for movement. We're gonna hit save. I'm afraid this is very important. This is extremely confusing. There's a save, save and use button. What the heck? Save and use. Unable to read or create a mempack file. Okay, these things are still here at least. That's good. Okay, can I press start? Yes, it works. So if you don't have an Xbox controller, you can uh, just configure keys or use the defaults. We also can use this to configure our gamepad. Right now I'm pressing buttons on the gamepad and it totally works, but I will stick to X input. All right, so now we need to start SM64 O. Super Mario 64 Online. And this becomes a bit complicated. We are going to host this time. So I'm not sure if entering the IP address is important, but we're just gonna do it. You can find your IP on Google, just enter my IP and copy it and paste it in there and uh, create server in our case. You will have to open a port. This might be advanced. You might not be able to do this. You might have to ask a friend to do this who has access to their router and can do it and then they will host. I will use 7777 since this is used by many games. Emulator is Project 64 and I'm going to switch to another character and this is important. For this you need to have 8 megabytes selected in Options, Settings, Config, Game, 8 megabytes. Otherwise it will crash. Now I'm just going to hit Create Server. This thing you have to accept this thing. It says logged in down here. I'm not sure but it might be important that you do not load state anymore or else it might not work. Anyways, let's start a game and here it would be useful to already have a save game where you skipped the intro. And here is our character. There we go. Let's just stand on that bridge. Okay, let's try to forget about the horrible controls in this game. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're just gonna extract the thing again. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect to a game. So again, just start Project 64, drag in the ROM, start another SM64, Go to options here, uh, make sure it's 8 megabytes, it is 8 megabytes. Check the controller configuration, it is configured. Enter the IP, use the same port as the host. Do not check create server, use project 64 if that's what you have. And select another player. And then I'm just gonna connect. Okay, so far, yeah, there we go, logged in. Let's start a game. So, let's go. Let's check if we can see the other player on the bridge. Yes, there he is! All right, we, we can skip through this real quick. So now we have two games at the same time. We can also go to options, settings, uh, don't pause the game while it's not focused. Oh no, I'm controlling both at the same time. So I guess I'll just enable these again. And this is how level transitions work. I mean, one character can walk in one area and another character can walk in different area. And if uh, Valuigi walks through that door, he will join Peach. There we go. Excellent. So there we go. Hopefully you have some fun playing Super Mario 64 online. Give this video a like if it was useful. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.